Okay, I'm back from Google Cloud Next, and for the first time in a while, it's Monk Chips in three minutes. So what have we got to talk about? Thomas Curian, he's the new CEO of Google Cloud. Um, last week was really his first Next, so talking to people internally, they actually like the focus that he's bringing. And it is very, very clear, very much like here are the six things we want to focus on, things like modernization, data management, very straightforward. I was lucky enough to have a meeting with him. And he said in retail, what really matters is convenience, 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 convenience. So there were four conveniences, not just three. Normally the rhetorical trope is three, he gave us four. And that's what he wants to do in terms of engaging with Google in the enterprise. So his view is look, um, some people said he just wants to throw more salespeople at the problem. That's not gonna cut it. The simple fact is, is Google has been doubling its sales force year on year for a while, certainly since Dan Green was in charge. He's more about, he, he talked about pauses, identifying those pauses in the sales process where things didn't really work and really focusing on the technical sale, really focusing on things that were solutions, anything that would remove friction from the customer buying something. And I think that's significant. Basically, Google has not been the easiest to work with, but if he focuses on convenience, 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 and convenience, then customers are more likely to buy from Google. Which brings us to the three musketeers, or four musketeers, um, Google has a new product, it's called Anthos. That's right, Anthos, Portos, and Aramis. No, no, just kidding. Anthos, what is it? Basically, Google had to um, simplify and package uh, Kubernetes for the enterprise. So it's this notion of we want to be able to have on-prem um, or in the cloud, uh, multi-cloud deployments, perhaps in other clouds, AWS or, or Azure. And the view was, look, we need something that's more like Cloud Foundry or more like Red Hat OpenShift, which is basically our package that we can sell to the enterprise so that they can have a Kubernetes environment that is not as, as complicated. Now the proof is gonna be in the pudding. Um, it's not all open source. Um, there are gonna be some questions to be asked there. What does it look like in terms of a managed by Google model? Will I have a Google SRE at the other end of the pipe? But basically it's them saying, look, it's not enough to just say um, use Kubernetes. They needed to package something up and take it onto the enterprise. And again, this is one of the things that Kurian said, meet the enterprise where they are. Which brings us finally to Run. Let's look at Google Cloud Run. I think this is kind of one of the sleeper announcements from a top-down perspective at Google Next. It was surprising that Google uh, Cloud didn't talk more broadly about serverless. Serverless is a huge phenomenon. Um, obviously, we've had uh, Docker kick off the container revolution. Kubernetes came in thinking about uh, orchestration of containers. And meanwhile, you had uh, this alternative stack Amazon Lambda. So what does that look like? What's interesting to me is um, the, the, the notion of a convergence between container models and, and serverless models. What's serverless? It's managed services that scale to zero. And Google's really taken that idea and, and, and um, packaged this, this cloud run in a really slick way in terms of developer experience. So whilst it didn't necessarily get so much time on main, tent, main stage, um, I was seeing a lot of buzz from developers in my network, even some of them that are like the, Am uh, the Amazon bigots. So I actually think Cloud Run is one of the most interesting uh, announcements from Google Cloud Next last week. I'd love to know what you think. So let me know, comment, subscribe, get on board. Munch